<laughs> yeah, find me a cheeky bugger. <laughs> um... <laughs> Welcome back to Different Flavours. Today we're down at Absurd Bird in Spitalfield and we're interviewing Kate Ovens, the food specialist who can probably eat more food than we ever have. More than you? Yeah, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> Greta from Absurd Bird, and she's going to tell us a little bit behind the restaurant, why we should come here, what's the best thing to order. Um, so yeah, what makes Absurd Bird stand out from the crowd? Uh, I think that's the only restaurant with such a warm service okay. that we try to provide. Okay, so like and customer service is on point then, yeah? Yes, it that's is. Good to know. And that's all down to you? Of course. So how long have you been working here for? Around two years. Oh, so it is all down to you then. Okay, <laughs> yeah. cool. Okay, cool. All right, so next question we normally like to ask is, what is your favorite item on the rest, on the, on the menu? Like, what would you choose above everything else? Chicken and waffles, chicken definitely. And waffles. Okay, what's in the chicken and waffles? What makes it so special? So that's homemade waffles. Okay. With three pieces of fried chicken breast. Nice, nice. And maple syrup Beautiful. and a sweet gravy. Okay, well that's, that's my choice for today then. And then finally, what's the one item that people just you need to push a little bit, like you want them to order. They, they don't normally try. Like, what's the one you, you would choose? The unsung hero, that's what we call it. Usually people go for the fried chicken burger, but uh, I think the Nashville hot sandwich is better. Okay. It's, uh, yeah. Well, we'll give it a go. We'll try it today. I'll, I'll give a little review, be lovely to try. So yeah, thank you very much. Lovely to meet you. today down at Absurd Bird and it's someone I've wanted to interview for a while because I still can't understand how someone this tiny can eat so much food. <laughs> I just don't get it. Not that so tiny. the physics don't work. Yeah right? it doesn't it's not like I'm a big guy like I can eat I'm not even gonna lie I can eat food but how do you do it? I have no idea to be honest. Like I used to be a little bit bigger when I was younger and then I decided to lose the weight and as I lost the weight I didn't really lose my appetite. So basically <laughs> lost weight but the stomach stayed the, like the same size. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. I've, just, I've, seen, I've, I've watched so many videos of you like oh, doing thank what, you. I'm not don't, don't. <laughs> No, I mean I'm I'm happy that you I know. The <laughs> the <laughs> fan you're, you're the one with the picture on the wolf fan, I mean, it's <laughs> Oh, is that you that's dropped in the DMs? <laughs> <laughs> then he died. I've got so many Instagram accounts. So like, but yeah, I just I just, I, I fathom like, I fathom? Is that a word? It is a word. I think it's like the closer you're getting to me, the posher you're trying to sound. <laughs> <laughs> just everything in our living room. <laughs> um, I can smell weed. Can you smell weed? Yeah, I, can I can smell can weed. Well. <laughs> I thought it was gay. I know. <laughs> I, I, I was, I've uh, never done like, it. Oh. <laughs> I actually, I, I was like, do I say something? Like, you want to take off? I'm so, pretty yeah. sure it's not me. <laughs> <laughs> Keep this in. This is great. <laughs> Let's talk about drugs. Yeah. Nah, so I like you guys obviously know each other before, right? I'm yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> right. It was me. It was me, yeah. right? Right, so like <laughs> well, right. I'm gonna adapt this up. I suppose it. you're looking from this from an outside view. Yeah, right? like so, you know both of us, you know me So I'm like a shoe guy, right? You're a food guy and yeah. you're a food girl. So mm -hmm. I don't know this like this sort of business or like how you guys go about it. So for me I find it crazy because I can only really do like a little bit of food because we gas this up, right? We always say that like, I'm gonna eat loads. Yeah, <laughs> every, <laughs> every place we pick, he's like, we get burgers and he's like, can I have three patties in it? And he just takes the takes the bun off. <laughs> <laughs> he does it, and I'm like, you can't actually eat. Like I genuinely thought he was a guy that could eat a lot of food, and he just can't, and it's really upsetting. Oh, <laughs> eyes bigger than stomach. Very much so. Yeah. Very mm. much but so. For you, like, I don't know. So when did you start? Like, what? How did it all come about? Like, when did you sort of? Obviously, there's a, there's a transition you go from to sitting at home eating loads of food to actually like. Well, what, was the, what was the first thing that like you had that was huge? Um, 
I don't know. So where I used to watch like Man vs. Food just like is when I was Adam, is it Adam Richmond? Adam Richmond, yeah. Yeah, I yeah, yeah, met yeah, him a Adam couple Richmond. of times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um he um I was watch I was just kept watching his show. I really, really liked it. And I was dieting at the time, so I was just watching it like I'm starving. <laughs> <laughs> and um and I was sort of doing a bit of like looking up on Google because like in America they're like massive, but in England they're not as well known. Okay, yeah. yeah. So I was like look researching and you'd find like I don't know there'd be like one place in Manchester and like one place in Bristol type thing and um, I was uh, studying at Newcastle Uni so okay. um, so I was looking for some challenges around there because there were more challenges available okay. than in Fleet <laughs> and, hmm. um, and uh, I found a place that was um, that had this thing called the gut buster challenge which okay. was a 24 ounce burger smothered in cheese potato wedges around the outside and you had to finish it in 20 minutes yeah. so I went down there with three of my friends one of them being like a massive foodie as well yeah, yeah. Um, really tall skinny lanky guy and um we get down there and I was the only one to finish it in like the time limit. Literally 20 minutes, like she literally rang a bell and, sort of, and I literally swallowed my last bite. Um, and then I had like, because I got my friends to do a before and after photo. Yeah. So I did the before and after photo and then just it got picked up by Lab Bible and then I just sort of thought, actually I really enjoy doing this and people mm. seem to really enjoy it as well. And I didn't know. Obviously, we've met before. I didn't really know. I, like, that's the first time I've heard if you're sort of into, like, <laughs> do you know what I mean? How you got into it's a weird it. and wonderful. But world. I know now. Obviously, there's. I think you did. Is there not a challenge in Fleet now that you like there sort of organised? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Um, there's a place that they've only just opened because in Fleet there's so many chain restaurants. It's like mm. you just go down there. Like it's, Wagamama, it's that kind of thing. Yeah, it's like yeah. Pizza Express, yeah. Prezzo, like all of that. And these guys have opened up a um, like a one-off burger place, okay. and it's called G's, and it's really nice there. The food is really good. The guys are so like lovely and everything. So I was just like, you know what? I'm so glad that there's an independent here. Yeah, yeah. Let's see if we can do something. The guys from Food Bible were game. I got them to. Come Come down we filmed it and I think that video hit like two million or something ridiculous and they did uh, so amazingly out of it. We'll get there one day. One day. <laughs> one day. What was the challenge? Right. What, was in the, what was in the challenge? Um, that one was a 36 ounce burger so that was... I, I did, do you know what I went I remember I, I took my parents out to some steakhouse back in Nottingham and I did like mm -hmm. a 39, 39 ounce T-bone I think Jeez. it was. That's I got, seriously... Do you know what the, the weirdest thing is? I was like, I asked for it rare, because I like steak rare, but when it's that big bit of meat, though, isn't it? Medium, because yeah. it, it's so, it's like... chewy. Yeah, it just doesn't work, so. <laughs> um, That's still impressive that you managed... Did you manage to do it? Yeah, I finished it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> Afterwards, they were like, should we go out for drinks? So I was like, we'll just go home. Like, that's that's, like, that's <laughs> the really Yeah, like, so when you do it, how do you feel afterwards? How long does it take to like, recover fully from um, a challenge to be like, back to normal? Literally just lay down, like just go go back home, you go to bed. Sleep. Yeah, pretty much. Straight away, so, so like if I'm, if I'm working with a restaurant, like if I'm not sort of near home or anything and I'm yeah. off to like Nottingham or Newcastle or whatever, I'll get a hotel. <laughs> <laughs> so with food, what do you do to prepare? Like, because I know you run a lot as well, don't you? Like, yeah. I know you do a lot of running. Like, what if someone says to you, "We want you to come here, eat this massive plate of food"? Mm -hmm. What do you do to prepare, like, to get ready for, um, for that side of things? I sort of like I'll try and you know up exercise and things, not drastically, but just you know within within my means kind of thing. Yeah. And then um, and then sort of I'll eat healthily up until like up until the challenge. So for instance, I've got a challenge on Thursday, so I'm actually going I'm um, going away for the next two three days. I'm going to be eating completely healthy the whole time. Then a uh, day before, I um, I eat like quite normally to be honest. I don't have like a massive dinner or anything like that. Um, then the next day, usually the challenge, I try to get it organised about three. So it's like just when the lunchtime yeah, people okay. have dropped yeah. off and yeah, you know yeah. it's too early for dinner. Yeah. So the restaurant's not like packed or anything because I just don't want the staff to be like frantic yeah. um, and me sort of you know ruining a diner's experience as well. Just like I just came in here to have a nice family meal. Why the hell have I got to watch this? Like, <laughs> so I try and you know try and sort of meet to everyone and um, so with that I'll probably have like maybe a yogurt or a banana in the morning and then that's you know sort that's of for the day. yeah pretty yeah. much until the challenge I so th I think it's one of the things where they're like I think a lot of people if they want to do it they feel like you've got to starve yourself but I think no, if, you don't mm. if you if you if you like make your stomach that small mm -hmm. you're probably making it harder for yourself yeah. oh completely really yeah like uh, sorry yeah. honestly like I'm talking a lot just jump in no, 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 that's what I was just gonna say we've had episodes like where you've do you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. But I like it though, right? Do you know what I mean? Because like, <laughs> generally I, I, I blabber on, but, but I'm learning. things where like, yeah. 
me and Kate like just go like that because yeah. we're both into the same thing. Like, yeah, like, for me, like yeah, yeah me and you, we just don't like you know, each other. You know, we did Daniel Corda. <laughs> sorry, like, you know what I mean? I was like, all you could see when you, when I could think of when you were talking about Fleet was like, I remember going out like Jax once, is that where it Jax was? Jax is yeah. now Moo Moo's. Yeah, so that's what I remember, right? I remember like, <laughs> yeah, I know. there's a lot of cheeky boogers in there. Yeah, a lot. So we used to have Dusk in Guildford as well. That was the one that everyone used to do. Oh yeah, I remember Dusk. I remember going there for an under 16 night, like yep. finish it. It's just like, who's finished their GCSEs? Like, oh yep. yeah, I hope I get a B in math. The, like, like, <laughs> the thing I remember about Dust the most is just... Do I take the piss out of it all the time? This, like, that's there used to be this guy, this really old guy who used to go... <laughs> 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 Literally, we were doing that in Greece because, like, everyone else there was really, really young. So we were just like, oh, I hope we get a B in maths. Like... J J2O for everyone. <laughs> oh, no, I had the slur. Slur on deck. Okay, I need Tesco to watch. Like, how many Apple VKs did you have to actually get, like, I have no idea. It's impossible to get drunk on VK. <laughs> I don't know, you'd be surprised. Think it's a great marketing tool. <laughs> so you have the weird stuff on the menus, right? Oh, yeah, always. Yeah. Like, they've got here, they've got, um, like, at Absurd Bird, they've got a, what is it, sweet potato mash with a blanket of marshmallow. Oi. I'm not joking. Like, I've, I've seen it. I don't know if it's still yeah, on the menu, I've, I've it might be. There's a mac and cheese they do here. Mac and cheese is amazing special, here, right. yeah. Food here is lovely. Why, yeah, that's why I wanted to come here. But, um, it's yeah. like me when I go wagon. I think a lot of people get attracted by, like, I feel in London right now it's a big bird. We'll get there. Like, we'll get there. <laughs> oh, did you just yeah. I was just going to throw in that, like, when I go to wagon mamas, I always have the fruit ice lolly at the end. I didn't, I didn't know. know if that was wagon relevant. Wagon mamas do a fruit ice lolly. Yeah, but now you know they do a fruit ice lolly, right? What did you get at wagon mamas, though? Oh, wagon mamas sponsor us. At wagon yeah, please. Mamas and stuff. Please. Um, <laughs> this is the series. So I always get the steak uh, ramen. Ramen. <laughs> Ramen. 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 And I always get to take the chili out because I don't like spicy it's stuff. It's literally like, it's plain. And uh, <laughs> then no I get the noodles switched out to the udon noodles. Oh, right? the udon, the thick ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When it comes to challenges, what's the hardest to date would you say you've done so far? Um, probably one of the hardest was, uh, and like probably actually the nicest as well, was the Beefy Boys in Hereford. So it was a 58 ounce burger. Yo. It was absolutely. It that was 11. Fun. So, um, but the thing is, what was so and that frustrating? That was full at three. <laughs> <laughs> 11 pack. You can't enjoy that, surely. Well, the thing is, it's actually one of like the best burgers yeah. in the world. Yeah, like they've actually been voted as like one of the best. The guys are so sound as well. Like I just love the whole atmosphere of the place. And. Um, and just because I really like the guys and everything, I really, really wanted to get them a win. So I managed to get through nine out of the 11, and I just kind of sat there and looked at it for about 20 minutes with just sort of any kind of, I was getting, getting close, I was like, no, I just can't. Well, they might, have to do, they might have to use you as like the scale, right? So obviously, if mm -hmm. you only did nine patties, mm -hmm. then 11 might be too much, right? I, I would never say that like, it, it's kind of like, a good um, sort of like rough idea of what they could like set a challenge as, okay. but um, but I would never say that like I'm kind of the ultimate person to defy it by because there are a lot of people out there who are better than me. Like I'm just sort of the most surprising because I'm like only five foot five and a just girl. Just a little innocent and... girl from Fleet who's like just walking in. Nine patties. Like, <laughs> nine patties. <laughs> like, like it's nothing. So, yeah. uh, why you got the scar um, on your head by the way? Uh, <laughs> everyone's been, everyone wants to know. I'm currently uh, filming for Harry Potter. Harry Potter film. Can we yeah. get like a before and after picture of what it looked like? It's actually like, horrible though because. Can I'm you like, try photoshopping like whilst then? <laughs> so I'll have like a little blo like Saturday, a skin screen. Saturday. Did you see my Insta story with the donut thing? No. Oh, okay. I was like, you followed me on Instagram, watch my story. He got, got rinsed. Basically, got rinsed. Yeah, I took a picture of me and it looked like it's, it's, it's really gone down now, but it was like swollen like a donut. Oh, no, no, I've seen that. The one that you've had on Facebook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so I thought you meant you actually had someone, a donut someone there. Someone cut it out and put it in a crispy cream box. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> Professional. Oh, God. <laughs> it's a weird question for you. Say, what, what does the future hold? Obviously, the future holds a lot of food, but. <laughs> yourself as a business in a sense I guess you are like you are your business do you know mm. what I mean and I know it's not just it's not just food challenges there's a lot more mm. I'm, I'm sure lined up for you so what have you got going on like what's what's the future for you right now so at the minute it's just sort of like obviously my main kind of clientele is always going to be food I don't think that's ever going to sort of almost stop and if it does stop it's going to stop with everything else basically um, but I'm sort of speaking with um, event like sort of just like events like Royal Albert Hall Nat um, 
Natural History Museum. Like I've done some like How more many actual... dinosaurs can you eat? <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing is I genuinely no. get questions like that, and it was just like a picture of like me and like my friend. They were like, "Did you eat her?" And I'm like, "What is this?" <laughs> That's what it is when you walk into the Natural History Museum. It's got like di you know like the dinosaur bones like Kate at the outside. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just left there. It's like this was eaten by Kate Ovens on the 26th. It's just, it's just a museum of like the leftovers. <laughs> but um, no, it's more kind of like videography that kind. Of, I wouldn't say that I'm a videographer by any means. You guys are the legit deal. Yeah, I have. I have a, there, like, don't you? No, no, no. I have. I have a camera and I'm blagging it as far as I can, basically. Yeah. But um, but it's kind of like that. It's more sort of you know you marketing. You enjoy it, right? And, I, think, yeah. I think it's a good side. I think it's nice to get you in and not sit there and eat fifty thousand burgers and three hundred <laughs> topped with fried chicken. It's nice to just mm. chat to you and just actually find out more about you, do you know what I mean? Instead of just... I am really hungry though. Yeah. I'm not <laughs> even out there. Yeah. The yeah. size of this table. <laughs> right. So we've had the menu thrown in front of us really quickly uh, and none of us have had a chance to look at it. <laughs> so we're just going to pick some Sweet stuff, bread. right, and go through. I just yeah. want... I'm just happy with some chicken. I don't yeah, want a spicy chicken. It's all chicken. about fried chicken and waffles, mm -hmm. like... I don't want that thing that Kate suggested, the marshmallow ting. That looks nice. Ting. Sorry, accent, right? Cheeky burger. I love how that's going. I know, I know. Hi, Kate Robbins from Fleet. I'm a cheeky burger. How are you? This burger's looking cheeky. You're talking sweet potato bake with toast and marshmallows. Mac and cheese, definitely. That's I'm liking the way that you I'm about. I think mac and cheese is just staple everywhere you go. If they sell it, obviously. You get a watermelon salad, if you want that. Sweet. We've had a look at the menu. You know what you're having? Yeah. Yeah, good. We know where we're at. So before we end this, if I want to find you online, mm -hmm. where, where am I going? What am I looking for? So it's pretty much just my name. It's Kate Ovens. Ovens like the kitchen. Um, it's so irrelevant. I know, <laughs> I know. Um, and it's my real name as well. Um, yeah, no, it's Kate Ovens on Facebook, Kate.Ovens on Instagram. Snapchat is Covens12, which a lot of my friends call me now. Um, Covens12. Not, not even just Covens, change, Covens12. You change it to Cheeky Bugger. <laughs> Yeah, find me a cheeky bugger. <laughs> um, <laughs> please don't use that as like the intro. <laughs> um, find me a cheeky bugger. Yeah, just just Kate Ovens basically, and you know I post up loads of random crap all the time. And if you want to unfollow me as well, that's fine. I totally understand. <laughs>